Hi everyone, it's Allison from Fathom 5 Tarot and uh, I'm at home with a little bit of time to knock off some more of Ethany's tarot tags from 31 Days of Tarot 2020. I really apologize for this crappy lighting. Um, I keep hoping I'm going to get home in time to actually do it with some actual daylight. Um, but I'm in Canada in January and there's just no daylight to be found <laughs> ever. Uh, I leave in the dark and I come home in the dark. So. Oh well, you'll just have to be able to just know that all the cards I show today look nicer than they actually are. Uh, they, 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 they are nicer than they look on this video. Sorry, that was backwards. Okay, um, <clears throat> so today I'm going to do prompts 6 through 10. Wow. Um, starting with prompt number 6, which is what decks are you anticipating in 2020 and why? Um, well, I don't actually have that many. Um, I don't follow a lot of deck creation because I'm not on Instagram. Like I exist there, but, um, I just, I didn't get into the habit of using it and now it feels overwhelming. I know I sound like I'm a hundred when I say this. I think I just really got into Twitter and I was like, what do I need Instagram for? And, um, I don't know. I, I need to get on it because I know that's where everybody is and where everybody gets their news. And this is why I never get on early bird decks or anything. But having said that, um, I also am not really up on what mass market things are being um, produced this year. Like I'm just, I'm just never in the know. So that's how I roll. Um, but I do have some things to show. So I do have this I'm counting because I just got it. Uh, the Whispering Sparrows Tarot Deck, Spirits, Sparrows, I'm tired, Spirits Tarot Deck by Joanna Nelson. Um, and I took the plastic off, but I haven't even taken the little plastic um, off of the, the cards. So it's still that binding there. By the way, I love this tiny little plastic thing as opposed to all being wrapped in cellophane. Um, I love that. Don't even wrap them as far as I'm concerned. Less plastic, the better. Um, so I'm anticipating working with this uh, a lot. I'm pretty excited, even though it speaks oh, it's very springy to me, so I might leave it a little longer. Um, but And it actually did arrive, I think, in 2019, but if so, it was the tail end of 2019. Um, and I was just really overwhelmed and busy with Christmas, so I put it away. So that's the Whispering Spirits Tarot. I'm excited about that one. I'm also waiting on... Um, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, the Spacious Tarot. It is on its way. It's en route by Carrie Mallon. And I was like, oh, I'm not going to buy any more decks. And then I saw that one and I just fell in love. I love the way that it's just locations. I feel like just be able to immerse yourself into the locations and the artwork looks gorgeous. And I'm really excited. It should be here any day now. So that's exciting. And I know that some people have already gotten theirs and they've been doing stuff online, but I haven't been looking at it because I don't want to, I want to experience it myself the first time. And I'm also waiting for the Bonestone and Earthflesh Tarot, Avalon Cameron's deck. Um, that one's been a while in the making. Everybody knows that one. Um, but I'm not fussed. Um, I trust her. Uh, it's coming. I'll get it when I get it. And it'll be just such a great, lovely thing when I, when I do get it. Uh, so, so those are ones that I'm actually waiting for, just those two. Um, one that's piqued my interest, but I don't know if I'm going to get it. It's a, I think it's going to be mass produced. Um, but Cat Black's Touchstone Tarot, um, I know it's been out of print for a long time and people really love that one and it does look very beautiful. I don't have her other deck, decks. I don't have anything by Cat Black. Um, <clears throat> so I'm keeping my eye out. I've heard that one's being reprinted, but I actually don't even know when. Um, and I think that's it for that question. Um, I'm sure other ones will pique my interest as the year goes on, but, um, yeah. Um, ba -ba -ba. there we go. The tarot card that stalked you in 2019 and why? Um, I'm not really sure why, but my stalker card this year was Six of Swords. Um... I mean, I, I don't know really if I really had a stalker card, but this is the one that came to mind when I looked at that prompt. Um, and then I was like, why? I don't really, nothing but that really resonated with me until I started to think of myself not as the passengers in the boat, but the paddler. And when I do think about that, sort of like 
helping people move through transitions uh, in their lives or through difficult times. I can, that sort of resonates for me. So that's interesting. Um, that would be the one. I just pulled a couple other versions of it just for fun. That's the uh, Wild Unknown um, first edition. I'm not sure if this one uh, looks the same in other editions. And then my uh, Anna K. Sword. So that would be the one. Uh, what tarot books did I read in 2019? I read a lot of really interesting books, but a lot of them weren't tarot focused. Um, but I did get Kitchen Table Tarot by Melissa Sonova. Um, I know this is like, I was a long, I didn't, um, I didn't read this when everybody else did. I feel like this one's been around for a while. Um, I really like to buy books when I can from a bricks and mortar store. And I happened to see, I was about to break down and break it on an order on Amazon. And then I found it. Um, so uh, that was a fun read. Um, I do really like her writing style. And then so I also read this one. Uh, WTF is tarot and how do I do it? Which I really enjoyed. Um, it also, uh, oh, I should, I guess I should say I haven't ordered it but I'm probably going to end up ordering The Way Home. Um, just the images are so cool. <laughs> it's such a cool deck. And again, if it weren't for this darn Canadian American dollar exchange and shipping, I would, it would already be in my hot little hands. Um, I just, I, oh, I think it's so beautiful. Um, it's really cool. So that might go on my anticipated list. Uh, but anyway, so for those of you who don't know, um, the, woman who wrote this book like the, the the cards are the images that are in this book and I actually didn't know that when I read this book um I just thought oh those are really interesting takes on the cards let me find an example um see now I want to find the fool for you but now that I'm looking for something specific oh I do of course they're in order what am I saying so that's the fool card um the deck is actually in color and there's it's sort of more specific but I think that's super awesome uh, so yeah, that's what I read. I also have acquired this, uh, Melissa Sonova's next book. I'm looking forward to reading that in 2020, um, but I have not read it. So those are the tarot specific ones. I read a ton, uh, this year, but that's, uh, that question. What was a memorable reading in 2019? Um, I had some, a lot of memorable ones for myself, which is not surprising because, um, I mostly just read for myself. Um, but I, I did, uh, I did do a reading for a friend that she found really impactful and meaningful and I think really benefited from the talk we got to have afterwards and, um, just sort of thinking. So I don't really want to say anything more about it than that, but, um, I've had, I've got some memories, <laughs> readings in 2019. <clears throat> and then the final prompt for today is... Share some of the tarot decks that have been long lost in your collection that you want to reconnect with. Um, I don't have too many of these. I did pull out a couple. Um, did I only pull two? Oh, huh. goodness. I guess I did. Um, well, actually, no, I know why I only pulled two. Sorry. I was like, I, I was, no, I was going to talk about more than that. Um, I was really inspired by the earlier prompt. I can link my video up here that I did um, my most used decks in the last decade um, because all of them were decks that I haven't, with the exception of one, that I haven't really paid that much attention to this year. Um, the Wild Unknown um, is one of those. And that really inspired me. Uh, I really wanted to look at the others. Um, the other is the Anna K. It's far away on my table right now. I pulled this one. Um, but I just, these are decks that I've loved and just, you know, newer decks sort of just took away my attention, but, uh, I'd like to reconnect with those, but I did choose two other ones. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, I wouldn't even say that either of these have been long lost, but they're ones that I really love and excited about, but again, just sort of got shifted away from for some reason. Um, and, uh, the first of those is the Gill Tarot. Um, this is the reprint, so you can tell it's not that old. Um, but I was really enjoying, oh, it's so pretty, working with this. I, it took me a bit because I was like, I don't know about your keywords, but I heard a lot about this. I mean, Katie Flowers loves this deck. And um, 
And there are a lot of things I really love about it. And then I, lo and behold, the keywords were great. Um, so, but it, I sort of got quickly distracted from it by some other new decks that came in. And I don't feel like I, 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 I want to use it more. Um, it's just really beautiful. And um, this deck, um, and I don't really even know why. But I've talked about my mom and my mom's illness and death. Um, <laughs> yay! Sorry, that's that's a that's a bleak term. Um, uh, just because it was related to my tarot journey, um, and I, in every way, um, have had a lot of things happen where I relate my mom to the Queen of Swords, even though, in a way, I think it's really not fitting because um, because of some of the reputation the Queen of Swords has. But in terms of like intellect and being sharp uh and using reason um just she's so smart uh, i mean she's also just so warm and funny and things that you wouldn't normally associate with the queen of swords and she doesn't look a thing like this but for some reason this card really makes me think of my mom um and more than other queen of swords depictions um she was just beautiful and funny and adventurous and smart 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 and um so anyway, uh, this that image in particular makes me feel very close to this deck, and um, yeah, it's uh, it's it's a really good one I think, and so I want to use that one more. And the other one that I used a ton, um, and then I just didn't I, I got turned away. But when I look at it, I'm like, why? How? How could I ever not go a day without using it? It's the Anima Mundi Tarot. Um, I got this fairly early on. I know there's been a couple of reprints since then, but I think they all look exactly the same. I don't, I think they're all gilded. I think they're all the same cardstock. I don't know. Um, but I think this deck is just so beautiful. Um, I did use the Pagan Otherworlds a lot this year. This aesthetic reminds me of the Pagan Otherworlds in terms of sort of the painting style and the very classic beauty of it. Um, but it's an animal deck, which I love. I love the backs. Um, I love the choices of the depictions. Oh, I, look how beautiful. Um, some of them are pippy, which I also like. It also makes me think of Pagan Otherworlds. I mean, come on. It's just so gorgeous. So I don't know. I can't wait to use this one some more. So this is uh, the Anima Mundi, I should have said, sorry, the Guild Tarot is now mass produced. I think you can get it on Amazon or anywhere. Um, the Anima Mundi Tarot is an Etsy deck. Um, and I'm going to mispronounce the artist's name. Megan Weirden? Weirden? I'm so sorry. W-Y-R-E-W-E-D-E-N. Um, and her Etsy site, I think is called the creeping moon and she produces just gorgeous, gorgeous things. It's highly worth a look. She also has a stunningly beautiful Oracle deck. I, I don't tend to use Oracle decks nearly as much as I use tarot decks. So I have not chosen to buy it only because I don't want to have it sit on my shelf and not because it's not just absolutely gorgeous because it is. So those are two decks I really want to use more this year. I reconnect with oh and then that's question 10 <laughs> so that's not bad um yeah so I got through those ones and uh, sorry I feel like this video is a bit all over the place sorry uh but I don't have time to redo it so I can't wait to watch everybody else's videos and hear their answers to these questions and we'll see you in a few days with another installment have a great night